Morning, friends. Well, what's on my mind today? What's on my mind today is that my daughter and her husband are coming to visit, so this is going to be a short and quick video. I made a couple of promises in my last video that I would do a video about internet here on the north shore of Lake Chapala and that um, I would do a video about assisted living here. I'm working on the assisted living one. I did uh, an interview yesterday with one of the local facilities and I have another one scheduled today so uh, Friday I should have that uh, video ready to go about assisted living on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Today I want to talk about the other thing I promised to do and that's internet. So I've done a little research and found out what's going on in Ahihik and Chapala with regard to internet service. But first, uh, I wanted to answer a question about all of that purple. People keep asking, why is there all of that purple? Well, and we have purple couches, and the name of the color of the couches is actually Amy Blackberry. I guess the answer is we like uh, purple, but let me turn the camera around here and show you that there's a lot more than purple. So I guess the answer to the question about why is there all of that purple is because it goes well with the green. And then over here, buenos dias, Ana. Buenos dias. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien, usted? Bien, gracias. Over here, I painted this wall red, and then I painted this wall green, and then I'm thinking, well, what color should I paint the arch? And it's purple. Why is it purple? Because I couldn't figure out what color to paint it, so I mixed the red and I mixed the green. And if you mix red and green, you get purple. That's how that one got purple. Anyway, let's go back over here, sit down and talk about um, the, the internet on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, internet. Uh, first of all, let me tell you what I've had and what most people have had to put up with for many, many years. Oh, for those of you who are always complaining about I don't get to the point right away in my videos, well, you're missing the fact that I hurried up and hurried up for many, many, many years, and then I moved to Mexico so that I don't have to hurry up anymore. <laughs> so keep complaining, and I'm not going to hurry up. Um, what I've had for many, many years is from the Mexican telephone company, landline company, Telmex, and it's five megabits down. Now, I pay for five megabits and I get about three and a half down and about a half a megabyte per second up. So when I'm in the United States and I upload one of these videos, it takes like 10 minutes. When I'm here at home in Mexico and I upload one of these videos, it's literally an overnight process. And if something goes wrong in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping, I have to get up in the morning and start it all over again so it might be in the afternoon before the video actually gets totally uploaded. Um, that's, and if I can characterize uh, the internet service on the north shore of Lake Chapala, uh, it would be this one sentence. It's dismal, and it has been for years, with one very bright light at the end of the tunnel that I'll uh, talk about in a minute. So yesterday, just to make sure that I was current, I went to um, uh, Telmex and found out that it, there's two services available, 5 megabits and 10, megabyte, 10 megabits down, and realize you don't actually get that. That's just what they promise, and that's what you pay for. So it's 399 pesos, which is about 20 U.S. dollars, for 5 down and 
599 pesos for 10 down, which is about uh, $30 a month. Okay, the other pr uh, way to get uh, data here at Lakeside is through your cell phone. And there are a number of different cell phone companies, but the main one is Telcel. Um, and I went to the big Telcel office here, and I actually went away laughing because uh, I found out that uh, they have this little thing about tells them how much the data service is. So I'm talking to the lady, and it's in Spanish, so I might not totally understand this, but I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, it's 500 pesos for 5,000 megabits, which is... Um, it translates to $5 per gigabyte for data on your cell phone. This is a prepaid service, so $5 per gigabyte, that's expensive. Uh, there are other cell phone companies around, Movie Star and some others, but it's all about the same, that the data is expensive. But what I'm laughing about is I asked the lady, well, I said, you know, I have a MiFi with unlimited uh, um, internet in the United States, um, do you have anything like that? And the first thing she told me about was a, a modem, a cellular modem that you could get, you put in your house. And the prices were about the same, but uh, a little bit better, but about the same. And it, but you can't like take it like in a motorhome or it's not portable, it's got to be uh, uh, hooked up in your house. Anyway, um, when I asked her if there was any unlimited plan, her reply was, and we're talking about seeing limitados. Oh no, there's no limit. You can buy as much as you want. <laughs> uh, another service is Telecable, and Telecable is a, a cable television service here, and you can get internet through them. And again, uh, it's about the same price uh, as you get from Telmex for the cost. Uh, maybe a little bit better download speeds, uh, 10 down, 2 megabits up is the report, and um, the rest of the report is that it's pretty good, but it might come and go, and your modem might be rebooting more than occasionally. Uh, now the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, big cities in Mexico have fiber optic service. In Guadalajara you can get 100 megs down and uh, it's not uh, terribly expensive. They were building a line a year ago from somewhere 50 miles west of here towards Mexico City and it just so happened that the north shore of Lake Chapala was on the way. And so a company came into town about a year ago and said, we'll take deposits, and if we get enough deposits, and the number was deposits for a year in advance from 300 people, uh, we'll um, do a sideline, or whatever it's called, of fiber optic into uh, Ahihik and Chapala. Well, there was a lot of controversy at the time about, hey, is this a scam, and you know, are we really, is it really going to happen? And the deposit was, uh, I think, 77,188 pesos, which is around 350 U.S. dollars. Well, um, people did make deposits. They got their 300 deposits, and uh, a month or more ago, they started doing installations, and people are ecstatically happy about the service. Um, reports are that they're getting 50 to 60 megabits down. It's promised 100. Uh, I mean, that's, that's what they say. The service is 100 megabits down. People are getting 50 to 60. I talked to a friend of mine who is very uh, computer literate, uh, and he got his installed two days ago, and he's reporting speeds of close to 100 megabits down. Um, he is ecstatic. Uh, they also offer, and the name of this company, by the way, is ILOX, I-L-O-X, um, and $7,200, dollars 300 uh, pesos, $350 comes out to about $33 a month for 100 megabits down. 
Um, that's a game changer here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. They offer uh, uh, to do your uh, phone line also so that you have um, telephone service through the fiber optic cable and it's uh, free calling to at least the United States and Canada, maybe other countries in the world, I don't know. And uh, also, with that kind of download speed, of course, uh, streaming TV is um, it's right there. Anyway, this is really good news for the north shore of Lake Chapala about getting fiber optic service. And not everybody is going to be able to get it right away. Um, I don't know, uh, uh, I'm not here to make a prediction about how long it's going to take, but the deal was that they were going to install the first 300, and they're working on that. And then they'll uh, take deposits from another 300 and work on those, and 300 at a time is their mission, their goal. Uh, I did talk to one person who said um, he wasn't one of the original 300, but he went into the office, he signed up, and he got it a week later because they're having trouble getting hold of the first 300 people, all of them, because people here at Lakeside come and go. And um, the, instead of having the installation crews just sit idle, they say, well, go do that guy. So it's uh, working out very well, and everybody's very happy about it. Hey, that's what I got for today. Um, I hope by Friday to have that, uh, uh, at least the first, and maybe I'll do a series of it of uh, assisted living places and places like that uh, here uh, at Lake Chapala. Thanks for watching today. Uh, like I said, it's a quick one because I'm off to the airport to pick up my kids. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.